this is second part of uh, uh, landslide susceptibility mapping video tutorial and in this part we are going to process elevation data and sentinel 2 data and we will uh, create these uh, seven parameters which are considered to be related to the landslide and finally we will reclassify the uh, these seven parameters so let us start this so i will use this folder for creating the uh, grass workspace so i copy this one and I have already opened this grass interface, so I will create, uh, I will move to the newly created folder by using CD and then pasting the data and enter. So working directory is changed here. So we again uh, switch to the data tab and now we create a new database and it will automatically choose this uh, folder so we click this select folder and we create a new location from the existing one so my existing data is here this is vidurdem.tif that I downloaded and clipped. So uh, description. This is, for example, we can write and description is analysis. So I have created this location and in the next uh, I will use this data file so I can browse and use this folder. So I will select this DEM data and next so we can check it is UTM 45 and based on WGS 84 so finish and we import the newly created data into the location and it is uh, imported now the, uh, it will be grass GIS will be switched to the newly created location and if we display this uh, we can see this clipped DEM data so let us try this one I have uh, uh, actually uh, created water set but uh, it may not be necessary. Let us see whether this works. If it does not work, then we can use the previous one also. From the console. So it's, uh, sorry, I have directly copy pasted so we need to change the elevation it is Bidur underscore DEM so now if we click enter 
So flow accumulation is not here. So we need flow accumulation raster map as input. So first of all, we create this flow accumulation using this R dot watershed. So you can see this in my website, and we can directly copy and paste here. And I change this DEM to be my new uh, DEM data, and I will reduce the size of the threshold because my uh, region is smaller than the that I used in this tutorial. So I changed. Uh, these two parameters and enter now we can see the new maps are created and I will use stream extract to create a stream data set so uh, I will copy this part you need to check this uh, command to understand what it is doing but I will just copy and paste so here, here again we change this to be this new DM data set and I, here also I will change the threshold the threshold uh, depends upon the uh, your own judgment uh, so you can vary this threshold because in this, this means that a uh, river can be created by uh, accumulation of 3000 uh, raster cells. So in this case uh, we use 3000 and uh, we can uh, vary. So in few seconds the these data are created. So now we have this river data set as a vector. And now uh, we create slope aspect. So I will search. So we will use this r dot slope dot aspect, or we can use this menu but let us choose this so again this is uh, our DEM and it will produce slope aspect uh, plane curvature and profile uh, uh, profile curvature and tangent curvature. Its tangent curvature is along the contour, so it is also known as plan curvature. So from this, uh, we create slope, aspect, tangent, and profile curvature, and river network is already created. Now, if we enter this. We will get all the necessary data sets here and we can check by uh, hiding and showing the layers. So this is profile curvature, this is aspect, this is slope. and this is river data and this is stream raster data so we can see very fine stream so this is other data sets which we can check here now we will move to 
the river distance because uh, we don't need river but we need a distance from river which we will compare with the uh, landslide data set so uh, river distance map can be calculated using this r dot go dot distance this uh, the input will be the stream we created as raster and distance will be river distance. So this is the output. So let us copy this one and in the console so because we have uh, this copied from previous uh, command so it will create the distance from this stream to raster data and it will be saved as river distance this other uh, output will also be a raster so, so we can see this river distance and we can check so river distance is 450 4000 and so on so we will now next step is uh, processing of sentinel data so uh, we need i dot sentinel to import the sentinel data uh, but uh, we can also import directly using r.import but it is much easier because we can use the pattern so we will use 2, 3, 4, 8 and 11 band uh, or we may omit this band 11 so we will try to use 2, 3, 4 and 8 only so let us check whether I have this one uh, copy this one and so enter it so uh, properly uh, it is uh, being downloaded Now it is uh, successfully installed, so we can use this one by one. So this is uh, not the place where my data is, so I will use this uh, folder name. and we have to uh, put a space and uh, grass will not take this backslash so we change to slash and now if we enter this one then b02 will be imported and So it will search uh, all these data sets. So it found this B02 and this data will be saved uh, in, with this name. And again, if we click up arrow, we can see this. And once it is completed, then we can uh, use the enter key
so it finished and now next one so it is starting this b03 So again this is created and now we use B4 So band 4 is already imported so we import band 8 Now all the data is here. Now we create NDVI and NDWI. Before that, we want to display the uh, image as RGB. So we can use this command. So we use i.colors.enhance and we input red, green and blue. So just copy this part only and and red equal to So this is the red, so we can and again, uh, this is and blue and copy paste and two and strength we can choose so that it will cut off the extreme value so we put 90 This is just to visualize and now we uh, use again the same thing uh, with d.rgb so all the things same strength we omit and in, instead of i.color.enhance we just write d.rgb so it is a display d means display so We can check this one and the data is displayed here. So it displays the data for whole the region. So it is better we mask 
the data set to this uh, DEM data. So let us use the mask for this one. So we can uh, create this river distance map also again because it is showing whole the area. And now let us create a mask. So we can use r dot mask. So we can check here the command r dot mask. So we can use uh, this command. In, ca in this case, we are going to use raster. So r dot mask raster full. So now all the commands will be limited to this area. So now let us again go to the processing. So we will create this NDPI and NDWI. So let us use i dot pi and the output map we will use NDVI and inputs for red channel we use 4 and for the NIR we use 8 and run so we can see that uh, the NDVI is created here similarly we create i dot NDWI uh, i dot VI so name of output raster map is NDWI and vegetation index is NDWI and the inputs are NIR and green channel is band 3 so if we run this we will get the NDWI so now we have all the data sets so we need to classify these data sets so before that I will create the river distance you again this uh, this I will create again so I have to write override and enter So now we can see these layers. So river distance is created within this area. So because we have taken a low threshold, so almost all the areas are within a few hundred meters from the river. So we can also change this if we don't like. Uh, so now let us go for classification. So we can use this classify raster so we will use this r dot record 
for the classification so I am not going to use this one so 0 to 15 is 1 so I will create a new data set 0 to 15 uh, will be 1 15 to 30 will be 2 So we will have a new uh, value for the data which I am writing here. So 0 to 15 uh, slope value will change to 2. So if we use R dot declassify then we need to make data set using this but uh, we are going to use r dot record so we save it uh, for example rules so i write slope rules dot text and then I will use this r dot reclass uh, r dot record. The output is RECL dot slope and we use slope rule dot txt and we need to change this to slash and then enter. So I have to write a uh, rules equal to so now it is working slow sl uh, so slope is re reclassified as shown here so river area and ridges they have low slope accordingly it is classified so in this way we can classify uh, all these data sets like aspect and even we can label the aspects and we will classify the NDVI but I will not show in this video. You can just copy paste this value and create a rule file and then reclassify.